In our next story, Sheriff Mark Petway explains how his deputies are trained to respond to mental health calls and offers advice for family members who have a loved one that experiences mental health struggles. Sheriff Mark Petway says that he's committed to helping those who are affected by mental health struggles. It is a top priority and it's something I campaigned on. We want to make sure that those that have mental health issues get the best care and we're there to help them during those times. Petway says that his deputies will receive calls when a concerned family member notices a loved one is not taking their medication or their medications are not working. So what we do, we respond to those calls and we try to make sure that we can restore peace in those situations. Sometimes deputies have to arrest someone, which the sheriff says they really don't want to do. Instead, they prefer to take the patient to a mental health facility. We would love to use Scuba Green or UAB Metro West as a place for an alternative to take those that have mental health issues instead of bring them to the jail. Those who work with the JBS Mental Health Authority will often assist deputies on mental health calls to help facilitate taking a patient to a mental health facility. JBS has everything that they need to be able to help those with mental health issues. At the academy, all deputies are trained on best practices when responding to mental health calls. Uh, we try to give them the best training as, as much as possible to deal with those individuals and to, uh, to be able to also mark their place of residence because sometimes we have to return back to those uh, places because of uh, those individuals. The radio operator will say, hey, this house has already been flagged as a person with mental health issues. They may give out the name of that individual. And um, so the deputy will know how to react once the deputy is there because of information that was already put in the system. We do listen to what the family members are saying because they know the history of that individual. And that's always helpful there to be able to hear the history of an individual. And a lot of times the family members will let us know that, hey, you know, once they get their medication, they're a different person. I asked Sheriff Petway what you should do if you're in a situation where you fear a family member is off their medications and it's only a matter of time before they hurt themselves or someone else. Petway urges you to talk to the probate judge about getting a commitment order. Once a judge gives us that petition to pick that person up, we will pick that person up and transport that person to where they can have a bed until the judge fully hears the case. So that is the best way for us to operate in a situation like that. And that is in cooperation with that family member who loves their family. And they want to make sure that their family is treated properly. And that's what we're there to do. My commitment to those that have mental health issues also involves bridging the gap. And that is something that we do with the community. It involves the community. We let them know that we're just not there to make an arrest, but we're there to help. So we're bridging the gap by extending a hand, saying that we're partners in this together. This is the Jefferson County Chaplain Team, a diverse group that comes from all faiths. Some are even bilingual. We have chaplains of different faiths to be able to serve the whole department and the community that's here, the community as a whole. The chaplains are made up of an all-volunteer unit within the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Their goal is to meet the emotional and spiritual needs of employees within the Sheriff's Office, as well as citizens after a disaster or personal life event. The chaplain team, they are very big help to me. They assist me with my duties here at the Sheriff's Office to make sure that all my employees have someone to talk to in case of a tragedy, they can minister to you. They understand and they're willing to sit down and go to total mile with you. Volunteer chaplains are carefully selected and trained. If you're interested in joining the chaplain team, visit the chaplain program page on the JeffcoSheriffAL.com website.